do the lines. Hello and welcome to Adamazi TV, a media house that connects all African communities to their roots. In line with our mission to connect all Africans to their roots, via the showcase of their cultural heritage to the world, Adamazi TV was live in Euro to showcase the Santi Muye New Year Festival celebration to the world. And gratitude of heart to stand before you on this memorable occasion to appreciate you for honoring our invitation to attend this epoch-making events in the history of Mumuyam celebration. This is the second edition of the harmonized Santi Festival in the history of Santi celebration across Mumuyam nation worldwide. The first edition was celebrated last year in a low kit. But today, we are witnessing the large scale celebration where Mumuye from all walks of life across the globe are gathered today to observe this festival. The traditional Santinium festival has been observed in different Mumuye settings across our traditional social strata. But today, we are celebrating Mamonese Festival to catch up with the social challenges of our time, where Mumuye from all dialects and tongues are converging today in Kantisawa to harness our social values and farm and showcase our farm products with which God has blessed us. The Euro is a local government area in Taraba State, northeast Nigeria. Its headquarters is in the town of Pantisawa. The local government is dominated by the Mumie people. <laughs>
The Mumiers are people of Nigeria. They speak the Mumie language. They constitute the largest tribal group in Taraba state of Nigeria. Mumiers are also widely found in many parts of the neighboring Adamawa state. <laughs> Particularly grateful to God and our royal father, A.A. Mazan II, having consulted with our key stakeholders, have entrusted to us with this noble assignment. Starting something is always not easy to come by, but we believe mistakes will lead us to perfect to perfection, therefore, we welcome constructive criticism. I want to take this opportunity to highlight the achievement of Santinium Annual Festival since its inception last year. Number one, we have secured registration with the Taraba State Government, and the certificate of registration is here with us. Therefore, Santi Annual Festival is recognized by law. Number two, we have maintained and domestic Santi account with UBA and all monies coming in is being remitted to this account for proper accountability. We have put up some administrative structure whereby 11 subcommittee is put in place to perform specific we have also worked on intensive awareness various social media platform and Santi Festival today is worldwide known. Our action plan. The Harmonized Santi Annual Festival has come to stay every second week of October yearly. For 2023 to come, the festival will hold on 14 October 2023. Number two, site for permanent scientific secretariat will be cited on the instance of our royal father with the support of our key stakeholders. There will be a scientific research institute where our indigenous stakeholders from academic and non-academic environment will be called upon to develop a research package aimed at enriching our good cultural values and developing of young flower and it is preservation on all round season.
The Santimuye Festival, which took place in Euro on October 15, 2022, marked the second edition of the Harmonized Santi Festival. In the history of Santi celebration across Mumia Nation worldwide. <laughs> Did you see the light of this blueprint? I'm mentioning that a beam sponsored by Honorable Kasi Mudelo Megali titled National Roots and Timber Production Processing and Research Institute has been sponsored and uh, the beam has gone to the second stage of the reading. The sponsor of the bill is requesting our prayer so that this bill will be passed into law so that the research institute which will be developed will work hand in hand with the National Research Institute for the development of our yam to give it a sound preservation and it is for cultivation will run to rise in the year. Economic potentials. Your local government is known, is endowed with mineral potential such as precious stone at Donkin Village and Kerozin at Mika Village respectively. We wish to appeal to our stakeholders to make a case to the state government to undertake research in that regard. Our appeal. In view of the action plan enumerated and the bill that is undergoing reading in the National Assembly in line with our blueprint, we hereby appeal to Mumia stakeholders and our illustrious sons and daughters as well as our friends to continue to send in their contribution for Santi Festival to achieve its targets and objectives. And not only annual celebrations, but for the good of our people. Therefore, the door of donation is opened throughout the year and continually. On behalf of my own myself and the members of the Central Planning Committee, I will want to use this medium to wish you happy celebration and safe journey back home. Thank you and God bless us all. In the course of the event, calls were made for the Mumia people to embrace technology and be innovative in their farming so as to reduce labor time and to have higher yields. The good people of Euro also acknowledged and appreciated Adamazi TV for gracing the occasion in order to showcase the Mumia cultural heritage to the world. This is Patrick Vincent reporting from the Uruguay local government, Taraba State, Nigeria. Uh, Adama TV is a TV channel which came at promoting African culture and to showcase African culture to every person around the world. So, I believe that there are, there are 
started last year and we call it harmonize yam festival because in the traditional setting it is being celebrated at different time and different date and different month but this one 15 october or rather second week of october of every year yam had yam in this festival is a mark and we started last year in a low queue but this year 2022 you can witness it in larger scale where the gatherers here from within and outside you can see the divinity a representative of the government our royal fathers our friends all over the world are converging today to celebrate that's why we tag we title it second edition of santi that is yam festival in mumayela this edition was observed in 2021 on a low key but this second edition marks the large-scale celebration where all the Mumia people from all walks of life across the globe gathered to celebrate and give thanks to their gods for the harvest of the new yam. As you watch the rest of the video, please remember to like, share, subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section for us to know how you feel about the Mumia people and their unique cultural heritage. So, as Adamazi TV came at connecting every African community or society to the truth, what do you have to tell us? We, the Adamazi TV, who are promoting African culture, 
you know, they said there is no society without culture. So as we are trying to bring on board African culture to showcase our African to showcase Umwe culture to the world. What do you have to tell Adamazi TV as an is welcome to Umwe Land. Our royal father is a friend to media organization. We would be very happy to partner with Adamazi TV so that our activities, farming activities, social activities, celebrations like this will be covered, will be made known, will be publicized world over so that people will come to know that such and such thing is happening in Taraba State, your local government, in Nigeria, West Africa. So the committee, the Central Planning Committee of Santi Annual Festival and our Royal Father A.A. Mazen II is welcoming you and we are happy to partner with you so that from time to time we make known our operations so that we will, we will be able to make our culture and value known to the world because we believe information is power. You see, when information is disseminated and reaches the people, people will come to be aware of certain things that is happening and they will want to pursue it so that it will attract investment and then economic promotion for the development of Euro, Taraba and Nigeria at large. Thank you. So what do you have to tell uh, Mumuye people home and abroad about this festival? Yes, home and in diaspora, I hereby call upon to cooperate with our royal father, A. Mazen II, who has the interest of his people at heart and who is willing to promote our culture, to cooperate with him, to contribute, to support materially, financially and otherwise, so that what we are observing today will not stop on the way, but will continue it. As I mentioned in my speech earlier, I've listed the blueprint and one of the important things we want to do is to have a research institute where Mumuye people, both academicians and non-academic, should contribute so that we will have a place where research will be, will be conducted in collaboration with the government institute so that this yam will be given another level of yield and preservation throughout the year. So Mumuye should unite, should speak with one voice so that our culture and our values and Santi festival will continue to hold every second week of October. Thank you and thank you very much, sir. We are highly delighted with your answers. Thank you so much, sir. I remember on the Dama TV is Patrick Vincent. Thank you, sir. <laughs>